How do you do that in a company? How do you how do you build trust and engage people so they show up every day, uh, they feel like they're empowered, and you create a high trust organization? That's a complex question because there's so many variables that go into that. Uh, I mean, I think purpose is one. Uh, secondly, the leadership has got to walk the talk. Uh, people examine the leaders to see if they really mean it or not, or whether or not they uh, mouth uh, a philosophy but then don't live it. So uh, leadership by example is essential to creating trust. But I also think an organization needs to empower its workers. Uh, and, and I think that leads to trust. We tend to trust people who we feel care about us. So I do think it's essential that organizations uh, create cultures based on, on love and care. Uh, if we really want to have a high trust organization, you have to be comfortable with the idea that love and care have to be abundant within the culture and within the organization. And that somehow contradicts a lot of the, the current narrative about business, which is that's all very good, but sometimes you've got to make the tough but necessary decisions and so we don't have any place for that. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get slaughtered competitively if we adopt that kind of philosophy. It doesn't contradict Adam Smith. Adam Smith wrote about moral sentiments. He wrote about the markets work because they're people of justice. He had a sense of justice. And I think he would include in that what you're talking about, about love and care. I totally agree, but who, who reads the theory of moral sentiments today? Well, or who right. even reads, for that matter, uh, the wealth of nations? So Adam Smith has been caricatured and not really fully understood. I mean, in some ways, Adam Smith was hundreds of years ahead of his time, and a lot of his original ideas that he had are still very applicable to the 21st century and could really help us if we would, if we would uh, take it seriously. I think another important quality about creating a high trust organization is the importance of transparency. Uh, too many companies do not have a culture of transparency because they're so afraid, because they don't trust their workers, that the information is going to migrate to their competitors. So they have kind of a philosophy of on a need-to-know basis. And I think it's far better to be transparent knowing that some of the information may leak out to your competitors, but that, that is worth taking that risk in order to uh, create a high trust uh, organization. So that, and some of the things Whole Foods does that, that maximize transparency in our company, for example, uh, what everybody gets paid is that's open information. Uh, we have we communicate as much financial information as we possibly can uh, in order to uh, so people will know how the company is doing. We have uh, uh, transparency as a as an ethic, and so we try to think through every area of our company and ask how can we make this more transparent? How can we make communication clearer? and uh, without spin on it. Too many companies also try to spin things. They, their public relations departments are forever uh, attempting to uh, put forth an image. Again, you've moved away from authenticity when you are spinning things. So I think it's essential that businesses try to be as transparent and as authentic as possible. Those greatly enhance cre uh, creating a culture of trust.